The following is Spring 2011, Math 115, Test 3, number 18 and number 19. Number 18, we will define this trinomial here by a binomial. Let me rewrite this in a way that we may feel more comfortable. No, some people say, no, Thomas, this is not something look better. Uh, but at least we know that we are dealing with dividing this by that. Okay, now to do this, because this is a binomial, we cannot just break it up. We have to do long division. This is the only way we can do this problem uh, at this point. Now, I will have 2x squared minus 9x plus 7 divided by 2x plus 3. Now, 2x goes into 2x squared how many times? Uh, 2x times what gives us 2x squared? is by x. Okay? Now, I write that x above that negative 9x because of the uh, quote-unquote place value. Right? And then, I will distribute x by those two. That will get 2x squared plus 3x. I will subtract. Now when you subtract, again, you need to be careful because our nature, uh, our, our instinct are not built uh, in uh, doing stacking up pancake negative numbers. So write it down aside, uh, negative 9 minus 3, that will give us negative 12. If you try to just look at this here, negative 9 plus 3, you tend to say that's negative 6x. Okay? But once you slow down, you will see, oh no, it is actually negative 12x. Then, after this, I will bring down the plus 7. Okay? And then I ask myself again, I repeat the process again. 12x times what give me negative, uh, I mean 2x times what give us negative uh, 12x here. Okay? So, 2x times negative 6 will give us negative 12x. We don't worry about 3 and the 7. We worry about that later. And this is negative 12x minus 18. Okay? And then I subtract again. Of course, this will cancel. Right? But that one, 7 minus negative 18. You will see that's actually... Uh, 25 okay now then the final answer here will be x minus 6 plus 25 over 2x plus 3 okay that's the quotient now the 25 comes from the remainder the 2x plus 3 comes from the divisor Okay, now number eight, 19. Number 19, factorize completely. Now you see that you have two terms here and you have subtraction. So very likely this is difference of squares. But however, keep in mind that we always start from common factor. Do you have common factor here? the x and the y of course not but the 16 and 64 has common factor 16 then you have to pull this out first 16 x to the 4 minus 4 y squared okay uh, you may say but Thomas you know what I can see right away that I, both of them are perfect squared you know so I can do the difference of squares, squares right away. Uh, would that be okay? The answer is very likely no. Very likely no. And I will show you later on what is the most common mistake I see when I ask this question. Remember the word completely. Okay, you need to factorize that completely. Now, let me finish this one first. And then I show you the common mistake. Uh, this is x squared being squared. This one is 2y being squared. This will then becomes x squared plus 2y x squared minus 2y and I don't think I can go on further 
Okay, that's the com completed factorization. Now, let's see if you do it the following way: a sixteen x squared uh, x to the fourth minus sixty four y squared. Some people see this as oh Thomas, I know this is four x squared being square, and this is eight y being square. Can I just go on doing the difference of squares, factoring there? Now, the fact is this, the fact that you don't remember to do common factor first at the beginning is already a big uh, deficiency, okay? If you don't remember that fact at the beginning, what makes you think you will remember to do it here? Very unlikely. The fact that when I asked this question to uh, that class at that time, those people who factorized it this way did not go further taking the common factor out. So Thomas, are you saying that if I can take the common factor out from here and later on I will eventually get the right answer? I say yes, but the thing is what makes you think that way? If you didn't do it earlier, what makes you think you will do it later? Okay. In other words, when you're supposed to do common factor first and you didn't do it, you will not think about that later. Okay. Now. But if you really want to fix it from here, yes, you can. You have common factor 4 here. And from that one, I have common factor 4. Now, I don't think you consider this any easier. 4 times 4 give me 16. x squared plus 2y. And that one is x squared minus 2y. Okay. Something that you can do in two steps. Now, you try to do it in four steps. I don't think it's reasonable for you to put that much thinking, especially when it is not appropriate. Okay, so this way, if I see this here, if you finish here, I'm okay. But if you're done here, you miss a big deal of the factoring method, which is supposed to start from greatest common factor. Okay, so do it this way. That's my suggestion for you. This is being 2011, Math 115, Test 3, number 18 and number 19.